Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishon here. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to balance a chemical equation for a high school level in three easy steps. Let's go. So here we have a chemical equation. The first thing you need to do is figure out, is it balanced already or is it unbalanced? Do we even need to waste our time? So we need to go ahead and count up our atoms and that is step one, okay? Now, as we're doing this, I need you to understand that polyatomic ions are gonna be counting as one as long as they appear the same on the reactants and the product side, okay? And ours do. Your teacher should give you a list of the common polyatomics that you need to start memorizing. Um, but for the meantime, I'm gonna tell you that NO3 and SO4 are polyatomics and we're gonna count those as the same one um, all together, okay? So here we have um, Al, aluminum, and that is one. Our NO3, we have three of these. So this subscript counts for um, all of NO3, notice the parentheses, okay? And then our hydrogen, we have two, and SO4, we only have one. Um, there's a one coefficient in the front, and there's no parentheses saying we have any extra with the second subscript. This four is not a subscript saying that we have four SO4s, it's just saying we have four oxygen, right? Um, therefore, we just have one SO4. All right, heading over to this side, we have two ALs, we have um, one NO3. Remember, since they're all together as a polyatomic, I only have a one coefficient. There's no parentheses with a second subscript, so it's just gonna be one. Hydrogen, I only have one here. And then SO4, I do have parentheses with a subscript saying three. I would use my distributive property for whatever coefficients here, but since it's one, it's just gonna be one times three. So I have three. Step two, we're going to add coefficients. Reminder, you cannot add subscripts to your equation. So these little numbers, we cannot add them, we cannot take them away. We can only add coefficients to the front of each compound. So let's go ahead and look and kind of evaluate what we have that's already balanced. One and two, nope. Three and one, nope. Two and one, nope. One and three, no, nothing is balanced. So we're kind of starting with a clean slate here. Now we need to figure out where to start. Helpful tip, if you can, do not start with hydrogen or oxygen if you ever have those alone or separate, okay? Um, we're just gonna start at the top because it's aluminum and that's completely fine. We go to the side with the lower number. So one, we really would like it to be a two. How do we get there? We can put a two in front, right? That coefficient. And that does change our aluminum too. And now we are balanced for our aluminum. Um, if we go to um, distributing out to our NO3, we are going to do our two times our subscript. Okay, so this three, I'm not referring to this one. I'm referring to the one outside of the parentheses because that's showing you the quantity, okay? So two times a three does give me six NO3. Notice my aluminum is balanced. However, nothing else is. I need to go back to my product side of the reaction now and kind of um, fix things up a bit. Well, I need NO3 to be six. The way I do that is I can just add the coefficient in front to be six. And so that will give me six NO3s on this side, but that also has an effect on my hydrogen, right? So now I'm gonna end up with six hydrogen. And um, yes, I did go ahead and check that my NO3 is now balanced on both sides, six and six. So we're good to go there. However, there's a lot that we still need to work on. So we're gonna go ahead and step two, um, step three, which is to recount atoms, adjust coefficients until equal on both sides. In other words, continue what you're doing, keep recounting, keep adjusting on the reactant and the product side until it all works out, right? Helpful tip, do not jump into high coefficient numbers until you've tried the low coefficient numbers, all right? Otherwise, you might have to reduce at the end and that's no fun for anybody. So let's go back to our hydrogen. Uh, we have six on this side and then two on this side. We really want our reactants to be six like our products. So what could we multiply two by to get to six? And you know it, it's gonna be a three. So that does give us six over here. So our hydrogens are now going to be balanced, but that um, does affect our SO4. So we have to multiply or use a distributed property to do three times the one, because remember this is a parenthesis with just a one, understood one. So that will give us three 
SO4 on our reactant side. Um, and we already have three on the product side. So that is it. Our equation is balanced, you guys. Helpful reminder, this is your work, okay? This equation is your answer. And a lot of times on a quiz or a test, it will only offer you up the coefficients that you found in order to balance it. So for example, your answer may say two comma three comma six comma one. Okay, um, I know that there is no number written here, but remember it's an understood one. On your test, it will never say zero because that means nothing, okay? So it's definitely gonna say one. Make sure that you always put in a blank as a one uh, when you're writing your answer down. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Go ahead, like, and subscribe my channel to see more coming up. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye, you guys.